SJC 12250, Shannon Ewing v. Patty Davenport Mello, and others. Okay, Mr. Ewing, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we can hear you pretty well. Keep your voice up. Okay. And uh, you may proceed. You've got 10 minutes, sir. Thank you. Um, thank you for having me in this court. I appreciate it. Um, I want to start with the motion to strike the appellee's motion. I filed it on April, um, excuse me, I filed it on um, October 23rd, 2017. I would like this motion Mr. to be Mr. Ewing, but I don't Mr. Ewing, Mr. Ewing, can you slow down just a little bit? I'm having trouble understanding you. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I filed a motion to strike appellee's motion. That motion was filed October 23rd, 2017. I would like that to be uh, before the courts so, because they um, gave up their right to file a uh, brief on um, April 4th, 2017. And uh, I just would like that to be before the court at this time. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. The second motion was motion for appointment of counsel. That was filed with that on October um, 23rd, 2017. Motion for appointment of counsel. Um, as reasons therefore, I just state that I'm an indigent prisoner um, with no oral argument experience and that uh, this will be conducted on November 9th, 2017. Uh, Mr. Ewing, the question that I have, this is Chief Justice Gantz, is uh, I understand that the, uh, the trial court record has in fact been assembled and, okay. and your Very appeal is in the appeals court. So, so why is your appeal to us n now uh, not moot? That is, why does it matter now since you've obtained the relief that you sought? Consolidate the docket. I understand that was under advisement, and I and that it's, it's not mooted because there's a question to still be answered whether under Rule Eight of Civil Procedures that I can um, have a plain and concise statement of the um, of the of the averments. And so I'm sorry. What do you, what specifically are you say you're asking for that you have not yet already obtained as relief? Court. All right. Is there anything else that you wish to present to us? No, not at all. All right. Well, thank you then, uh, Mr. Ewing. And now I'll turn to uh, to Mr. Puddister on behalf of the defendants. Good morning, Your Honors. Uh, Attorney George Puddister. I represent the appellees here. Uh, the appellees are all, thank you, the appellees are all uh, employees of Massachusetts Partnership for Correctional Health Care, which is a contracted for medical provider for the Department of Corrections. Um, as the court's aware, Mr. Ewing filed a petition for relief pursuant to Chapter 211, Section 3, um, asking for this court to order the uh, Superior Court to transfer the, assemble the record and transfer his appeal from the Superior Court to the Appeals Court. Um, since that, since he filed the appeal to this court, the assembly has been record has been assembled. The record has been assembled, and the case has been transferred to the appeals court, where it has been fully briefed and is currently under consideration. Um, I would just quickly um, direct the court's attention to the case of uh, Stowe v. Commonwealth, 423 Mass, 1002, um, which is directly analogous to this. Um, in that case, the appellant filed the petition under Chapter 211, Section 3, seeking the SJC to order the, the county court to assemble the record for appeal. The appellant's petition was denied by a single justice of the SJC, and the appellant appealed to the full SJC. Before the full SJC could issue its ruling, the record was assembled, the case was transferred to the appeals court. As a result, the SJC ruled the petition was moot. That is exactly what has occurred here, and I would respectfully request that the court dismiss uh, Mr. Ewing's appeal as moot. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.